Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review for The Genius Princess Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt, Episode 3. Um, ep episode 3, um, the, a proposal as a pretext. And I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying this series so far, I am. Um, like I said, I like My Dress Up Darling just a bit more, because I thought, because I love the humor, but how the chemistry between our two glees, so, but regardless though of that, I've enjoy I've been enjoying this, uh, uh, this series a lot. I think it's an awesome series too. So, in episode three, like, I think it's we get so much more of the back, a little bit of the backgrounds of our of our characters here, and the whole point of the the the, the, the gist of this in this plot here is like it's not like another battle. It's not it's, it's not another battle, uh, scheme for our Prince Win, but um, what happen what happens is that uh. Uh, um, the princess for another kingdom um, comes in and f asking for her his hand in marriage, and it turns out it's um, an old an old friend of the prince and of Nims, the the which the three of them went to the academy together by the name of Lola. Lola went to with them together. She's also a very intelligent person. And asking for what their brother had in marriage though, but when. Um, knows that there's there's just more to it than that, right? Like and like I said, how we established, we get like the background, some backgrounds, um, uh, flashbacks when they were at the academy. There was also two other guys that also went there by the name. One was named Glenn, and the other one, um, uh, what was the other guy's name? They also went um with them, Strang, Strang. Yeah, so two other guys that also was at the academy with them. So you get flashbacks of them when we were talking together. And the reason, no thing, um, like they put this whole thing on front of uh, they, they say things when they're when the was the three of them together. That's when they re uh, reveal more about um, Lola. Lola uh, reveals more about her situation than than to say now with with her superiors or her um, royal guard or whatever. So. When the three of them are in talk of in private, they're saying that she reveals that you know that her three older older her three older brothers are fighting over the throne, and she uh, she wants Wynne's help to help her become the empress. So, and. How how the way the, how do we establish it? Because I buy I buy the relationship how they have you know I buy because with the how they were friends and all that and I thought it was another well developed of the character like um, there was a couple instances where there was an instance where where um, how Nim and uh, Loa how they know each other how they they know each other so well how the way they talk to each other I always like how they give like this this little glance at each other which that was kind of funny too. Um. And like Wynn is also not only that though, but he's also suspicious that um, there's more to it than that. It's like, like I said, like how some weapons are being smuggled into his kingdom. And also we get more that um, um, Wynn's a uh, little sister. She, um, I get the this nice moment where you get a nice background shot where the with the with the scenery. I thought it was a pretty good looking shot where the how the scenery is with the trees and all how the color of the trees are. So I thought like it was nice, good scenery, good design of animation, and like how she, uh, Wynn's sister, um, what was his sister's name? Falana, Falana, yeah, that was I thought it was her name is asking Nim that you know that why, she, why, why Nim won't marry Wynn, even though it's it's probably it's because of her fa because of her family name. That's that's probably why though. But even though we we. After two episodes in this, you know, we've established that, you know, uh, she, uh, she loves him and he loves her, though. We've, uh, it was already, which I've already established that he's, she's the one that she loves, that, that he loves. But even though she's perfectly, she's perfectly fine that, you know, because, because in episode two, after, after, uh, what our, our genius prince, you know, stormed in and the, the one general who insulted her. Who sold a Nim? He said that she's my heart. That's 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 why that, that, that already that led me to say that she's the one that he he that she he loves. When we said that, so she is my heart. 
and she's perfectly fine. And you know, she's perfectly fine uh, with you know without the marriage thing, but it knows that she. They both do love each other. That's why. That's why I established. I I got that. So it was a nice conversation. Be- it, was, it was a nice conversation between uh, the two between the two between him and the sister about about her loving him. So, but and he, but she but she but she's perfectly f- uh, on but she's perfectly fine on that though. And we get a couple of other um, yeah. There's more talk with her with uh, with her and Loa with her in the bath. Um, and that's also a problem that uh, there was uh, there was this other guy. The name of uh, Gerard Agatel, who is also trying to act, who also who, who's trying to uh, marry uh, Loa. Yeah, a guy by the name of Ger- a guy by the name of Gerard Agatel thing was who leads this other kingdom, and which which leads which leads into uh, what um when uh, teaching his given uh, his sister a little lesson on the history or of, of the of different kingdoms on in the continent here. And uh, it shows the many kingdoms. Lastly, how it shows the map of the different kingdoms divided, and how one was like waging war against one, uh, one altogether, and then the one, and then ultimately talking about um, the one kingdom, the last, the name of that kingdom we're talking about, Agatel, I think it was called, and talking about how the the guy there that um, who wants to marry um, Loa, saying that how he, he tutors her, how his father was a tyrant and all that, but and. How the son is smart enough too, as well, and then you also get flash, another flashback to um, with uh, Win and Loa back in, when they were at the academy, saying that you know how he knows that he knows what her goals are, he knows uh, how ambitious she is, but he's like, if you want, if you want to get what you want, though, wage war, if you want, you know, and just seeing how times would change, times would change, or you know, like how. He brings up about how they were eating, eating with our hands, and then later, well, later we're using a fork, knife, and a spoon, right? And the whole way, such a, how the way he talks about it, this is really well done, you know, how he talks to her, and saying that you know, if she if she asks, you know, will you are you gonna will you ever help me? And he's like, no, and then she goes and kicks him right there, kicks him the leg, <laughs> because you know the thing is, oh he. He like he the, like when is like how you established in the previous episode how he is so smart though he was like the top of every class and how his name was got blotted out right <laughs> he knows he knows he's smart enough though but he's if it's a for our dear friend though he will try to help though but the thing is though he's a selfish guy and he doesn't want nothing to do with anything <laughs> like I said he doesn't want any weight on his shoulders but um B tells B but, but he says you that um. You, you you want it, just try to wage war, you know. But uh, and the thing is, like, and he's he's, he's he's been a little bit suspicious though. And what thing is that the Loa is scheming something, and he wants to try it, and he's trying to uh, worm his way out of it, basically. So I like the fact that he's trying to wiggle his way out of the situation. And how the way this whole this episode goes, I thought it was another fun. We get more established backgrounds with our with our characters. And I thought it was another another well done episode, and especially we get some nice animations with the, like the background, like I said, with the trees and all that, like the scene where Nim was talking to to the sister, and I like how we know that uh, he that she's the one that Nim is the one that loves Win and he loves her, but the thing is though, due to her like her name, she can't though, but she's perfectly fine with that though. <laughs> And with the, with the, with um with Loa, I'm interested to see how what what, what with her scheme will go because she wants to, she wants to see the seize the empire and she wants him to help her, but the thing is like he doesn't want to though he's, he's, that's why he's trying to worm his way out of it, <laughs> which is that makes it pretty funny. So yeah, episode three um of the Genius Guides raise a nation out of debt, the Genius Prince's Guide I always get the name it's a, it's a long name so I miss a word. But you know the name, so and I thought it was a pretty funny episode. We get some established on some character on more of our characters, and um, we'll see. I'll uh, see how uh, episode four will go, and if, like I said, like sometimes when he tries to make a, tries to do a scheme, and he ends up he fails by succeeding. <laughs> we'll see how he tries to get his way out of out of her, his friend's situa- his situation. Will he help her? Or he tries to still tries to wiggle his way out of it. 
but um, yeah, but it's a, I thought it was another fun, another fun episode. So the princess, uh, the genius princess guy to raise a nation out of debt, episode three, another fun, a pretty episode, and it was fun. It was fun chemistry between, uh, <laughs> uh, funny, especially with another funny scene. I forgot to really quick how, um, see how like how how this thing where they're talking and the three of them are talking. It's like um, how did um, Neil was asking um. Well, um, Lowe was asking, uh, how, uh, Wynn's, uh, Lowe was asking Wynn to see if, how Nim has changed, and she's like, well, she definitely has her body stitch except for her boobs, and she, she was going to ready to sock him one, that was pretty funny, and, and then I was thinking, how, have you noticed how I ch and then Lowe was going to ask him how she changed, right, and he's like, well, your buzz got bigger, and then, and then Lowe goes and tells Nim, okay, you can sock him one, <laughs> So yeah, and it's not it's and it's, also, it's not it's not a harem series. It's definitely not though. It's just how the way it plays out. So it's not a harem series. It's a it's a fun fantasy comedy. I I enjoy it. So episode three I like. So I'm I'm, I'm this like this show is is proving to be awesome already. I'm loving my dress up darling a lot. Although I put it slightly above this series though, but I'm enjoying this series a lot too. Regardless. But episode three, it was another pretty good episode. I enjoyed it. So I can't wait for the next episode of that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next uh, video. Later.